Understanding the phrase, end of the tale. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, end of the tale. This phrase is quite intriguing and has a rich usage in English literature and everyday conversations. Let's dive into its meaning and how you can use it effectively in your English communication. End of the tale refers to the conclusion or the final part of a story or an event. It's used to signify the point where a narrative comes to a close. This can be the end of a book, a movie, or even a real life event. For example, if someone says, let's hear the end of the tale, they are asking to know how the story or situation concluded. Apart from its literal meaning, end of the tale is often used metaphorically. In this context, it can refer to the outcome or resolution of a complex situation or a long process. For example, in a business meeting, someone might say, we've discussed the project extensively. Now let's get to the end of the tale, meaning they want to hear the final decision or conclusion. One, after reading for hours, she finally reached the end of the tale. Two, the detectives worked hard to uncover the end of the tale in the mysterious case. 3. In the end of the tale, it turned out that the least likely suspect was the culprit. 4. Everyone was eager to know the end of the tale of the famous court trial. The phrase, end of the tale, also appears in various cultural contexts, such as in movies, books, and songs. It's often used to create a sense of anticipation or to hint at a dramatic conclusion. This makes it a popular phrase in storytelling and narrative arts. Thank you for joining me in exploring the phrase, end of the tale. I hope this video has shed light on its meanings and uses, both literal and metaphorical. Remember, understanding such phrases can greatly enhance your English communication skills. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.